What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so you may have uh, heard me from time to time talk about how, in today's society, due to the fact that we're in a more secular society, we're not a religious society anymore. But I believe that we as people have a need. It's, it's in our DNA to worship or revere those who we feel are superior to us, a, a higher force. Um, and it's being seen in the this, this celebrity worship syndrome that has infiltrated society over the past 30 to 40 years. Um, you know, and we're seeing it also with this glorification and sometimes even deification of of of, of athletes and, and, and celebrities. So with that I would segue into something that Kevin Garnett said on his podcast with Paul Pierce. I believe it's called The Ticket and the Truth. I'll put a link to this article in the pinned comment in the comment section below. So Kevin Garnett basically said that LeBron James is essentially the one guy who could bring peace to the Middle East. All right. LeBron Ramon James is strong enough, and if he uh, studied the issue at hand, he's the guy who could bring peace to the Middle East. He's the one that could end uh, the tensions that have existed for decades, uh, if not six, if really centuries, between Israel and Palestine. And uh, if you think I'm lying, I think the audio is loud enough for you to hear. Let's see. Here we go. Or can probably stop the war right now if you want to. If Brian wanted to, man, y'all stop fighting, man. Y'all chill out, man. Everybody chill. <laughs> That's how strong Brian is right now. If Brian actually got the facts of this whole thing, stood up and like, yeah, okay, look, let's get a nigga some money. Let's, man, everybody chill out, man. Here, everybody fall back. Man, bring that tequila out, man. Give everybody a shot. Yeah. That's how you saw everything with, with alcohol and money, money payoffs. Yeah. 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 Um... So LeBron Ramon James is going to solve something that no presidential administration uh, since Truman has been able to solve, something that the United Nations have been able to solve, something that the Palestinian leaders and Israeli prime ministers haven't been able to solve, uh, you know, something that Yitzhak Rabin lost his life for. Um, somehow, some way... LeBron Ramon James, he's going to be the, the problem solver. Sure. First of all, I find it interesting that, you know, people are putting more stock in LeBron doing something than the people who they, the 81 million that voted for Biden. I mean, I think the ones that should be, they should look toward him, but looking for the magical Negro once again. But uh, also, you know, I, I, I'm looking more for LeBron to say, speak out about, for instance, what's going on with these kids in Ohio. I mean, he's from Ohio, right? And I did a video about this back in May or June when it was 400 kids. Then I did a video about this over a month ago when it was 1,000. Now it's something like 1,100, 1,200 kids and counting that have gone missing in Ohio, in particular the North... Uh, I think it's north east or north central Ohio. Uh not far off from the Akron area where he's from. This is still going on. It's a reason why this is not being talked about by the mainstream sports media, because I believe the people who are involved are major players. But I believe these kids are being sold into trafficking. I believe these kids are also possibly being sold into uh organ harvesting, and even uh, if you do a little research, there are some people who believe that some of these kids are being liquidated for melanin. See, this, this, this you know, the people that always talk about my channel, I'm, I'm talking about LeBron, see, I talk about real shit on this channel. That's why I'm shadow banned. But because I talk about LeBron James, oh, don't you talk about our hero LeBron? LeBron, first, first of all, LeBron is gonna do whatever the NBA tell him to do. 
which is to be pro-Israel, okay? Um, he ain't going to speak out about this. We already show, He's already shown what he will do when it comes to certain people, okay? Did we not see this nigga throw Kyrie Irving on the bus? But we keep, we, keep, we keep pretending that this nigga is some type of black leader. We live in a pretend world in this motherfucker. Fantasy land with this nigga. Shit's crazy, man. As long as he can go to 10 NBA Finals... Hey, you can't question him because he went to 10 NBA Finals. <laughs> oh, Lord, man. We're, we're, we're doomed, man. 